Sharply.net, and you should get yourself a subscription. It will be sent to you for free, for nothing. Uh, here we have a, a top leader of the Tea Party Caucus. This now calls itself the Freedom Caucus, right? A group of right-wing anarchists and uh, and other political adventurers, right? In intent on tearing down the U.S. government, just like Jefferson Davis some time ago. Um, he's right. He's talking to the Hill, right? The Capitol Hill publication. Mark Meadows, Congressman Mark Meadows, is telling the Hill that there could be a coup d'état against Boehner, against Speaker of the House John Boehner, a putsch, a coup, a golpe, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he would be overtaken. It could be earth-shaking issues like Planned Parenthood. It could be uh, other questions, right? Maybe Boehner didn't vote enough times to repeal Obamacare uh, and so forth. Um, they, and we know what's coming up, right? This is going to be ugly. Uh, this is September. It's almost the middle of September. By October 1st, if the 12 appropriations bills are not passed, then the federal government will shut down. A government shutdown. The 99th proof, the umpteenth time that the reactionary Republicans prove they cannot govern. They're a gang of anarchists. They're sociopaths. Get them out of there. That party must collapse. And collapse it may well, uh, even though Trump says he won't run as a third party. Uh, the collapse, I think the handwriting is on the wall. And remember my perspective. Collapse the Republicans first, get rid of them. They're a racist reactionary party of certain rural backwaters in the Deep South and a few other places. Let them become what they always have been, right? If they, if Koch and company uh, get sick of losing money on failing causes, the Republicans really have a hard time existing as a national party, at least. Uh, and once the Republicans have collapsed, then the Democrats are going to split into two parts because the the progressives uh, and the uh, the New Deal, pro labor, whatever you want to call them, will not stay in the same party with these pro Wall Street guys like Chucky Schumer. Uh, and there it is. So uh, it means we may well be dealing with a government shutdown and a default, a default in November, which is when Lou says the U.S. government will run out of borrowing authority. So both government shutdown and the horrors of the uh, default. Back in a minute. It's uh, September 11th, 2015. And now uh, something you're not going to hear in other uh, sources very readily. Uh, in Russia on Sunday, uh, in a day or two now, there's going to be a series of regional elections, uh, mainly having to do with the election of governors, but also of other uh, officials. Now, the, uh, of course, the U.S. networks don't report about this. The one thing you do find is if you go on the uh, Internet, you find some articles about um, they're mainly concerned with the fate of the supporters of Boris Nemtsov, you may remember him, but they really they don't care about any other political parties. And of course, there are other political parties. There there are some uh, very interesting ones. Uh, and since we're you know we're interested in third parties, here's what I thought: uh, I have become aware of a group called the Open Alliance of Election Monitors. Now, this is a nonpartisan, politically neutral uh, group, mainly interested in counting the votes. They're not in favor of the government necessarily, and they're not in favor of the uh, the opposition uh, either. In other words, the uh, this Nemtsov group or other people like that. So uh, this it, it contains also the idea of uh, reporting accurate vote totals. So I'm very pleased uh, to be joined by Dmitry Trifonov, who is uh, the head of it, the founder of the Open Alliance of Election Monitors. Uh, he has been associated uh, personally with the Moscow State Institute of International Relations, but he's doing this, of course, in his private capacity. So uh, we're all looking forward here to what's going to happen in Ohio next November. Uh, so we're always interested in ways to 
uh, make sure that elections are honest. So I'm very happy to welcome Mr. Uh, Dmitry Trifonov. And please tell us what's uh, going on. Uh, good evening, Mr. Topley. Thank you for your introdu introduction. Uh, and uh, what I want to say that uh, really there are lots of elections at different levels within Russian Federation. And uh, that's, that is because there are different levels of authority within Russia. Russia is a federation. We have federal level regional level and municipal level. And, and all, this, at all these levels of public administration and municipal uh, administration, there are, uh, there are elections from time to time. And so our idea of open alliance of election monitors is to prepare monitors for work at polls during the election process and uh, to, make it, uh, uh, to make this process more fair our IT specialists have developed uh, a system that allows for an immediate live communication line between election monitors um, and specialized web resource, um, which serves as an in, uh, open information center that accumulates information about the voting process throughout the entire country. So using modern technology, we can jointly prepare election monitors who will fulfill all the international monitoring requirements. So uh, we are starting this process uh, right now, and we are aimed at elections to state Duma of Russian Federation. That's uh, one of the chambers of our parliament. But already this week weekend, as uh, you have already said, we have regional elections in some of the regions of our country. Our governors are going to be elected, and we have already prepared 600 monitors that are going to use our IT system, that, uh, uh, that are going to use Open Alliance, uh, 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 our system, our um, website, to monitor the uh, election process within regions of the Russian region. It's uh, Kostroma region, it's uh, uh, Nizhogorodsk region. The names may not uh, tell you some specifications, but in four regions of the Russian Federation, this weekend, the system is going to be applied. And we think that in a year, uh, when, uh, comes, when it comes to elections of State Duma, Russian parliament, we have uh, monitors throughout the country, and we'll be able to provide a fair monitoring system for the election process. I uh, tried to find out something from the English language press about this, and the only thing they talk about is Kostroma and the fact that the Nemtsov party is, is going to be there. Now, as I understand, Kostroma is a little bit to the east of Moscow. Is that about right? Yeah, a little. It's one of 85 regions of Russian Federation. Within Russian Federation, there are 85 regions. There are republics, there are so-called oblasts, that's areas of the Russian Federation. There, there are so-called krais, for example. Uh, we can translate it to English as territory. For example, Krasnodarsky Krai, where Sochi is located, where we had our Olympic, Winter Olympic Games. So there are 85 regions of the Russian Federation. And uh, uh, this time we are uh, trying this system uh, in force of them. Uh, and we have already had negotiations with different parties, not only represented in our parliament. There are four parties in, parliament, uh, in our parliament, but we are uh, seeking to find contact with all of the parties within Russia. And uh, we have already reached agreement uh, to prepare the monitors from uh, parties. Um, for example, we have such parties as Green Party, Agrarian Party, Citizens Platforms, Cities Russia. Uh, we have so-called party as Prava Ideala. In English, it can be translated as a right thing to do, something like that. And so uh -huh. we... We are in constant process of negotiations with the parties to show them that it's a, this is not political pro, uh, you know, platform that allows any party to 
take part in a process that will provide a fair elections, uh, fair elections campaign. And uh, despite of the fact that we have all these parties have different political opinions, these parties have different political programs, they have different political uh, platforms, and every party sees uh, differently the future of our country. But it seems to me that all these parties share the same basic values, justice, freedom, and fairness of the process. And that's why, that's why this platform of um, uh, our open alliance will allow right. to join all these parties in this process. I, the one thing that occurs to me is, as I mentioned in the introduction, right, we, we always have problems here in the United States with vote fraud uh, and unfair elections in places like Ohio is infamous, and then sometimes in Florida, right, in the year 2000, we had the crisis in the vote count in Florida. And what I'm thinking and what I would propose, the main watchdog and the main expert we have in Ohio is a friend of mine called Robert Fitrakis. And Fitrakis has written books about this. I'm thinking there might be a way to collaborate and maybe apply some of your system to uh, monitoring in the presidential election next November here in the U.S. So if it's okay with you, I'd like to put you in touch with this friend of mine, Robert Fitrakis. That's a great idea. We can connect via email after uh, our conversation online. Um, and so, of uh, course, it's a uh, universally uh, universal platform. You know, you can uh, download the application using, as I might say, uh, services of Google Play or iStore. You can download it to your uh, to your device. To your okay, device. I'm sorry. The music is upon us. Our our time is up. We want to thank you. Um, please thank come you, back. Mr. Play. Come back after the election. Dmitry Trifonov of the Open Alliance of Election Monitors in, uh, in Russia. Thanks again. And we'll be right back. Webster Tarpley here in Washington, D.C. This is our September 11th edition being taped here in Washington on the afternoon of Friday, the 11th of September, 2015. But now we've, we've given you coverage on the Russian election, the Russian regional election coming up on Sunday. And now, of course, we're going to have an election in Greece in, uh, what, about two, two weeks or, or actually less. What am I saying? Um, coming down on us. So let's go right to, uh, to Athens and our excellent observer, Michael Chiotinas. Michael, the first thing people are going to want to ask is concerning that U.S. Uh, bid to try to get Greek airspace closed to the Russian aid flights to Syria— Looks like the Greek government is hanging tough and uh, refusing to comply, right? Yes, reports say that um, the Greek side have, uh, has refused to comply uh, with the U.S. Be on, um, on, the, on the basis of not uh, wanting to worsen Greco-Russian relations. So it, 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 it's just it's a caretaking, a caretaking government. It uh, tries to keep things as they were so it's, this is it's as simple as that okay now having having got that aside and congratulations that means that there's a broad consensus right because it is a caretaker government right there's no popular mandate but that seems to be what people want here's what i wanted to propose a lightning round where i name the greek parties that i'm aware of and you give me a quick uh summary of what they're saying right because this is going to be uh, practically our last program. Well, we got one more before the election, but yeah. why don't we see how this campaign is going? Since everybody knows Alexis Tsipras and the Syriza party, how about two minutes on them? Yes, uh, Alexis Tsipras and the Syriza party is running, well, it's, it's really funny because most of the parties, uh, the major parties, are running uh, on a program of the new referendum. It's as simple as that. The new uh, memorandum, uh, I'm sorry, the new memorandum is the economic uh, policy uh, piece, you know, the economic program of every 
nearly every party that's running, every major party that's running. Um, Syriza is trying, Tsipras is trying to differentiate himself by saying that we are the new and they are the old and you have to, we have to get rid of the old. Uh, 